And, uh, okay, I have to tell the story first. About, 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 about a month ago, our Vice President Gillian invited me to give a workshop. And uh, after three weeks of thinking about um, nothing, until this Monday, I, I started just panicking and extremely scared about what I'm going to do right now is to give a 20 minute workshop in front of you. And uh, basically, I think preparing for a workshop is quite in the same way as preparing for a speech. So first, I have to come up with a topic, right? A topic. Okay, so what's my solution? I log in the BBS. Yes, PDD. <laughs> <laughs> I search nothing. And, uh, you know, it's definitely not a good way. And when I was in our club board, I found out an article. It says, let Jeffrey tell you how to defeat C1 the monster. Well, that's interesting, because I myself didn't know what to say, and you guys have started to promote for me. <laughs> and, but it made me start to think about how to prepare C1. How to prepare C1. It can be a good start for today. So, basically, I made it. I don't like the microphone. Okay, basically, I have three simple Q&As for the question. How to prepare C1. The first one is, uh, what is D1? Can anyone tell me what is D1? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's your, it's your first speech in, it's your first speech in Toastmaster. The second one is, what should I say? What should you say? Come on, guys, what should you say? Yeah, it's a self-introduction. And the third one is, how long is it? Good job. Four to six minutes. So, now you may wonder, three simple Q&As and the best speaker. No. It just reached the minimum requirement of giving a C1 speech. But, it's quite important because you know the rules. And once you decided the topic, it's time to write a script, right? So, um, it's always not my strong point. I don't know how to say it, but I'm not good at script writing. So, I want to introduce a catchy point. And for introduce this concept, I use Zhe C1. Okay, I'm ready for you. Hello everyone, I'm Zhe Liang. Uh, do you know who is Zhe Liang? <laughs> Hi Zhe Liang. Hello everyone, I'm Zhe Liang. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm a master's student in computer science. And when I say computer, all stereotypes come out of your mind. You might think I'm a geek. <laughs> I'm an otaku. And I graduated from Delta University. Well, stereotypes are generally wrong in me, but I hate to admit that this time, you're right. I'm a geek, I'm a super otaku, and <laughs> yes, I did graduate from Jiao Tong University. And that's the next example. Well, it's quite embarrassing, it's mine. Eleven years ago, I started to leave. Oh, this is my C1's opening. Eleven years ago, I started to learn English. And, uh, I forgot, <laughs> at that time, all the little boys and girls were required to think of an English name for themselves. But I really had no idea what name should I choose, so I went back home and asked my parents for help. Since your Chinese name is Pong Kai, said my dad, why did you choose the name that has a letter related to P or K? So, from Patrick Porter Potter to Kevin Keith Kai, I was skimmed through so many names. Suddenly, my mother said, Pong Kai. Um, Pong Kai. What about pork? <laughs> pork? No way, Mom. I don't want to be a pig, Mom. Okay. So, 
Mr. Otaku, Mr. Pork, Kachikun. <laughs> so, why I'm talking about Kachikun? Must to do with um, something very funny, or it must be in a humorous speech? No, I take Haley's A1 speech for example. He used a bunch of pictures. I don't know whether you come to the demo one or not, but he used a bunch of pictures to show us that he believes in the future that the network might bring peace to our world. And through those pictures, because his English is so great that I don't know most of the words he used, but <laughs> through those pictures, I started to understand and I started to remember what he said. And that's catchy point. Okay? So, now we talk about speech value and structure. Finally, add humor to your speech, because people love. If you don't say something interesting, you just keep saying things that very seriously, they'll fall asleep. Okay. And now it's the resources. If you have some problem that you don't know why to write a script, and this is the website of our club um, blog, and there are most of people's scripts in it, and they're categorized from C1 to C10. So if you have it, maybe you can check it out. Yeah, this is the part A. I'll talk about um, write a script. When I decided the before I decided the topic, I wrote it at my home, and I was asking myself, why is me? Why is me today standing here to give the workshop? Come on, why is me? And, I mean, look at the audience today. We have Ivy. She's my mentor's mentor. That means she's my grand mentor. And I believe many people's <laughs> mentor's grand mentor is Ivy. And we have Zhe Liang. He is um, the most handsome guy in our club. Maybe. And uh, <laughs> we have Jonas, um, the last person you should believe in our call, for sure. I mean, we have so many different people here with different needs. So I'm not going, and I don't think I'm qualified to teach you how to deliver a speech. No, I'm not. But I would like to say today I'm just here to talk about my opinions of some elements for a good speech or my experiences of preparing for a speech. So my part B is delivery skills. And um, some people think that sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. Well, I think it was, in my opinion, I would say, if you write a normal script, like what I always did, a normal script, but through the delivery skills, maybe it will become a good speech or a wonderful performance, who knows. So the f I've um, divided the delivery skills into three parts. The first part is voice, then it's eye contact, then it's body movement. So, who do you think, oh, no, no, what do you think is the most important part? Voice, or eye contact, or body movement? Who do you, what do you think? Eye contact. Eye contact. Like what we do now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and what do you think? The most important part? Boy. And come on, Jonas. The most important part. Come on, you're going body to deliver it. Body language. Body movement. Okay. okay. Well, I think it's voice. Why? Because voice is the primary language for a speaker. Uh, for a speaker. <laughs> between the speaker and the listener. Like, it is my pri primary tool between us. I use my voice and you listen it, you cannot close your ears. So, I give a little example. Like, if there is a sentence, I was born in Taiwan. Okay, simple? And you have five ways to say this word, to say this sentence. I was born in Taiwan. I was born in Taiwan. I was born in Taiwan. 